Hi everyone, I'm Edge, and this is Prey, and I am an idiot. <laughs> if you watched last week's episode of Prey, you may have noticed, and if you read the comments, you definitely noticed, at some point, I gained the ability to fabricate neuromods. And I never noticed. Despite doing a decent amount of fabricating, and every time I went to the fabricator, it was right there in the list of things I could make. I never read Neuromod. <laughs> so despite all my complaints and protestations about how hard it was for me to find Neuromods to get the things that I wanted, turns out I could have just been making them the whole time. <laughs> so. Uh, that's gonna happen at some point in this episode. The next time I get to a fabrication station, I'm making as many as I can. Uh, other than that, though, uh, we are just trucking our way through Talos 1. We discovered weavers for the first time. I don't know what they do. I They haven't told us what they do. We'll probably figure out what they do. So let's find out what they do. And maybe a few other things on this episode of Prey. <laughs> yeah, this son of what? Are, what are you? He's like a uh, big ball of black spaghetti, like um, squid ink pasta. Excuse me. Um. I'm trying to remember. Like, I mean, I know I'm technically going this way, but I am a little curious. Where? This is. So if I just go. If I just go back here. Yeah, it's just right here. <laughs> the fabricator is right here. No, this is the recycler. That's okay. The fabricator's right here, though. <laughs> Smack it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's great. These things are all super cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, let's check how... You know, what do you need to make a Neuromod? Infinite licenses. Okay, you gotta have three of these, which are... I don't know what they are. Um, Two of the... I got a buttload of those. Two of these... These I'm short on, and one of those I got plenty. So I need more of that symbol. But... What, what if we just... <laughs> Play... That's... Gosh, dang. Look. God. Oh, man. <laughs> now we're talking. And just like that, I got three additional arrow mods, which, if I'm lucky, means I can get a uh, repair too. Uh, it's probably under engineer. There we go. This seems really good. What's this? Suit mod, increase extra inventories. Oh god, that seems. How many? I have five neuro mods. No, I'm going. I'm just looking. I'm just looking, guys. I'm just looking at what my options are. It's fine. You don't gotta be mad about it. Honestly, all of these are really good. <laughs> and I really like all of them. But I feel like I keep running into places. God, that's okay. Hear me out, guys. The sooner in any game, in any, anything ever, any RPG, any game that has any kind of leveling up system, anything that increases the amount of stuff you get pays more the sooner you get it. Like, that's just math, right? So if I get this now, then I'll get more stuff. Which means I can make more neuro mods. <laughs> I'm very good at sticking to my guns. 
I think I've made the right call. Uh, <laughs> also, at I mean, at some point, I need to like crank my toughness. Um, like, I mean, all of these are good. I guess that's kind of the point, right? You gotta make choices, but I don't want to make choices. I just want to have everything. Do I have anything that I can? I have no junk. All right. What are you? All right. Whatever. We're fine. We're fine. Um. Okay. So. I'm not going to go back and do it, but another thing that I did notice is at one point in the last episode, Maybe I, can help you. I unlocked an airlock. I didn't even try to go out into space. And I think that's weird. Like, why didn't I do that? Also, just FYI, it's been a minute since played so if I forget the buttons it's because I'm stupid the live exam morg live exam I was afraid morgue. of this the scientists here were in the middle of something when they died Access to the guts is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Oh, cool. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. They're Their millennials. They don't like talking. Developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't even seem to see us. Yet, not like we see ourselves. I, I was mean, gonna say, I mean, they eat us, I'm so they must see us a little I bit. Us, of course, I'm not a person, not like you. Or are you a person, and have you been lying to me this Live whole time? Exam procedure in progress. What? Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Hypo, psi fabric. What's up? Oh, psi hypos. Got it. Um. Do I? Can I go walk in here? Hold on. <laughs> I'm a little freaked out. No, this is... This glass is really clear right here. I guess these are doors. They don't break easily either. Okay, all right, it's fine. Just gonna grab some glue. Oh, speed scan. Uh oh, one side. Oh. Scope chipsets. How do I... Well, that's pretty cool. I have a lot of slots for chips and not a lot of chips. I need more chips. Local lockdown in effect. Got it. So... Okay, well, let's... Information. Lab procedure. Phantom Genesis. Experiment ID. Live exam series. TG513. Please ensure there is a cadaver in the enclosure and activate psychoscopes prior to opening containment cylinder. Controls. Activate psychoscopes before experimental procedures. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. So the sign that said live exam and morgue, uh, they're two different places. This is live exam. That's the morgue. I think I need to go to the morgue, don't I? We're gonna go to the morgue. First. Then we're gonna come back here and do the live exam. Okay, hey, hey. Cool it, man. Who are you? Complete. Great stuff. We've successfully researched the engineering operator. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Just hanging out? Operator approach. 
There is a mimic around here, guys. Let's don't. What the heck are we looking at here? What is just like goo with a? Did it? Did it? What? What? What's hitting me? What's hitting me? What the? Ooh. How come I'm not? I'm mimic corpse. I I don't have an answer for why when it said corpse in parentheses like I've killed a lot of mimics and I've seen the fact that they, they get labeled like when they're dead as corpse but in my head I was like it's a mimic of a corpse I found Mitsuko Tokaji Ooh. Got a little exotic material for me. That's I love that for me. Okay. Hey. I don't need your help right now, do I? Sink. Oh yeah, if I push this button, I get that sweet health boost. Do I know this? I do not have a matching key card for the more. Gosh dang it. I thought I... Thought I did a thing, you know. <laughs> I, I, I I hit so. I'm sorry. I <laughs> hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. It's fine. It's it, lots of people. It's a normal reaction. <laughs> hit everything with a wrench. I hate that the mimics make me feel so stupid. <laughs> I think. What is this? That's. This is like a snake. <laughs> Just throw that over there. I don't like. I don't. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I had to be sure. I had to be sure. All right. I'm an idiot. I sent this email. This was uh, Annalise Gallegos to Demian Lin. I'm indisposed, Demian. Kelstrup wants to discuss some urgent matter. The science operator lets itself in the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day. Shadow it and slip in. Whoa, what are you doing, Demian? This is Rory Mannion to Demian. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles movies up until I had that second combinatorics neuromod installed now they can't even elicit a chuckle i'm not imagining this am i i did enjoy them right Haley isn't happy about it ever since she scrutinized my every move how much hot sauce i use where i put my shoes before bed shit even my handwriting you'd say you're still the same person you were before your mods went in weren't you rory well that's kind of terrifying thought yeah, I'm very sorry, um, Mr. Turret. I can't repair you. I need to get in there. Look, neuromods and a key card. Ah! Uh. Huh. Where did you even come from? Hey, um, if I make myself something small enough, do you think I can just, like, go through this window? Feels like it's worth a shot, huh? How do I... Anybody remember? <laughs> okay, this is how I do this. Okay, we gotta I gotta be standing here and then I can hold on now I'm little okay it didn't work I can't jump when I'm a jar let's try this just try it again just once eh. 
Hold that. Whoa, hold on. Yeah. <sighs> I'm actually one of the world's smartest prey players. You can't, you actually, you can't teach that kind of just situational awareness and understanding of B0917 Haven't I seen like stuff about this guy? I feel like 03 is someone that I've, oh, Sylvain Bellamy. That name is also familiar. Jesus. This isn't the first time a Titan okay. organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating, but Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding mm. the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Uh, yeah. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, you know what I also probably could, if I had one, there's the, um, the, uh, crossbow that has the, like, suction darts. It said something about using, I remember reading something about using them to, like, push buttons. I probably could have, like, broken a window and then shot a little pew pew there. That also probably would have gotten me in. That's not important. What's important is... I'm a genius. I'm the best. Nobody's ever done it quite as good as I have. Wait, the engineering operator fixes my suit? I thought you gave me more psi powers. I I don't know what anything does in this game. I'm just, I'm just like here. What are you? I don't know how to read the Cyrillic alphabet. I don't even know what letters I'm looking at. All right, well. Oh, so if I do this and I look inside, do I see something? Do I see something? No. What about this one? No. Okay. Well, that was pretty fun, I guess. Uh, I I guess that's it for the morgue. Luca Galupkin is number thirty-seven. Okay. Yeah. There wasn't. There wasn't anything else in here. I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think that's everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Up we go. A medical operator is someone who I would like to go talk to real quick. Just, just like a quick, um, quick, quick. How do you do? Yeah. Hello. A science operator. Okay, so science operator gives me brain juice. Engineering operator gives me Hello. Good to suit. See you again, Dr. Yu. Medical operator gives me health. I have had a rough day. And here's the thing. I found some junk. And I would like to recycle it. Give me the oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, hold on. If if we look at our inventory, I think we maybe we can figure out. Exotic material is probably Well, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I have It would be nice if Here we go. Mineral material is the gray thing. Exotic material is this thing. 
This is synthetic and this is organic. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I need mineral material. I don't know how I get mineral material. I guess if I... Okay, here's, here's the thought. Here's the thought. I think it's a good one. I think we're all going to like it. We've already stabbed it. Like, I'm not good at throwing stuff. <laughs> so... What are Q-beam cells? Now... I... <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't get rid of these. But there's part of me that wants to. Because I have no idea where I will find it, or when I will find a Q-beam weapon. But I... And if I... Here's, okay, here's the, my other question, what I don't know, looking at this. And maybe I can, I can figure this out here. If I recycle these, there are eight of them, right? And this says material yield is 4.8. Is that 4.8 total? Like, I'm going to get rid of these and I'll have 4.8, or is it 4.8 per... So let's, let's actually just do this and find out. It's 4.8 total, okay. Okay. So I, so dismantling this would be stupid. <laughs> I would get let, not even enough to do anything useful. Okay, good to know. Got it. Okay, but I can make more neuromods now. I can make two more neuromods. Let's do that. Let's go. Sick. I'm assuming the, like, purple stuff. I probably get that from, like, dismantling the... Ow. Python organs is what I was gonna say. Uh, but what I should be doing is let's go. Let's just do it. Repair to okay, go over here. I'm gonna shoot you and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna fix I'm gonna fix this there we go it's a little annoying that I had to spend my spare parts on it but it does mean now I can come back in this room and I don't have to pussyfoot around Where's the health guy? <laughs> Hello, good to see you again. Help me. You. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical can handle. This won't take long. Good Thank you. New. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire. Shall no. I, I refuse. Okay. Now. Okay. I need to activate my psychoscope. I think this is my psychoscope. I'm honestly, this is, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Hello. Uh. Examination theater compromised. Um. Warning. Examination theater compromised. I have some problems, I think. Warning. That hurt a lot. Examine nope. Ease for medkit? Okay. Theater compromised. 
my guy has turned off my gun? What if I, what if I... What if we just shot him a lot? I, I heard you that it was compromised, okay? But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. Do you know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. Oh no. I all their wonderful abilities. Panicking. There's one thing we about my mirror neurons. Hello. Empathize nice with the you. suffering of another living creature. Hello. Diagnosing. Cruising. Abrasions. Fatigue. Nothing like that. I'll have you feel better soon. Okay. Well done. Please fill out a paper. So I man, I don't really. Contain yeah, I I noticed that the containment shield was open. Thank you. Deploying the what what? You know, I'll bet that that would have helped me a lot. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, you know. <laughs> Live and learn. Uh, uh, okay. Now. Yeah, you guys go that way. Just ignore me. Shh, act like I'm sleeping. Okay, um... No, I need to... Did he get... Blowed up? Ah... Uh. Heck yeah! What do we got going on here? I don't think we want to go in there, right? That's where the weaver is. Caution, don't go in there. That thing will probably kill you, if I were to guess. Thank you for the organs. You think those turrets are gonna shoot me with the little bit of, uh... Typhon DNA that I currently possess? <laughs> Material extraction. I know the game says I should go this way, but material extraction sounds like there might be s stuff. <laughs> yeah, you you guys know how I feel about s stuff. It's the best. Hello. Oh, we're researching humans. Weakness to glue. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Uh, hold on. We gotta read some research. Uh, human. Common name human. Homo sapiens. Humans, like most mammals, possess a low natural psychoactive potential. Attempts to alter brain function through artificial means are usually temporary at best, or harmful and addictive at worst. The addition of the redacted, derived from the Typhon organisms, temporarily weakens the elasticity of human neuron connections and allows for the addition of new synthetic neurons to catalyze changes in the subject's brains. Removal of this serum will cause the human body to reject the new neurons and connections, effectively resetting the brain back to its original state. This process may result in memory loss and other, as of yet undiscovered, side effects. Sounds awesome. Let's see. I We've learned about the Voltaic Phantom. The unknown Typhon organism. No entries found. Please contact Dr. Hans Kelstrup, Director of Psychotronics. Amazing. Great news for us. Engineering Operator. Designed with precision craftsmanship for the dangerous vacuum of space, few utility robots can measure up to the Transtar Cobalt 410 Engineering Class Operator. Equipped with two GenSense manipulators and a swappable utility arm with a full array of tools, 
There's little the engineering operator can't fix. For more heavy duty work, each engineering operator comes standard with an industrial grade omni navigational systems capable of deftly maneuvering cargo containers in zero G environments. Morgan's notes. Can be found wandering the station, especially on the lower decks. Good for patching up holes in my suit. A vast anatomical database coupled with a top-of-the-line compact surgical tool set makes the Transtar Pyramid Class 490 Medical Series Operator the finest in automated healthcare, rivaling even the most skilled surgeon. Patients concerned with safety and privacy can also rest assured. With its patented Panacea Governor technology, the Transtar Medical Operator is programmed to be minimally invasive and fully discreet. The latest iteration in Transtar technology also boasts an increased 98.2 diagnosis accuracy rating, as well as the introduction of a bedside manner protocol designed to improve rapport with patients. Morgan's notes, most medical facilities on station have these in the operator dispensers, can handle just about any trauma, if only they didn't tell stupid jokes. Nice. Okay, so we've learned more stuff thanks to that electrical guy, Voltaic Phantom. Electrostatic burst. Create an electrostatic burst that deals up to 25 damage within 3 meters of the targeted area. Additionally, it disrupts electronic, electronic equipment, stuns robotic targets for 3 seconds, and stuns biological targets for 2 seconds. I can also give myself resistance to electrostatic attacks. Okay. Alright. Guy in prison. I know... That's, like... That's all really spooky. This game is... <laughs> why, why, why is this game so scary? But it, you, you don't have to be so scary, man. Christine Lloyd. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I met it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. But this Could something exploded. Some meteoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Oh, okay. Good. Hopefully it's just that. I agree. Is there something you're not telling me? Probably. Oh, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it I would be inaccessible. Really like some exotic uh, materials. Hey, hey, guy. Um, what do you got going on in here? What you need guns, ammo? I saw one of them science types going to that armory. Saw him punching the code. Hey, you get me out of here. I'll let you have it. My name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Okay. Uh. No reason to keep me locked up in here anymore. Hold on. I gotta figure out what's going on here. Y'all really shit and fell. Okay, so this is volunteer 13. Offense information, human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor, distribution of controlled substance, fraudulent impersonation. He's not like a good guy. What are you reading? My rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine, listen. I want to be honest, some of it probably is true. Okay. I've done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right now. Come I mean, on, I... y'all got to let me out of here. Yeah, I'm not really okay I with... I anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Yeah, I mean, you Real didn't have criminals. to... They didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. I like the way that he sounds like, um... Come on, now, the guy who plays the ghoul in the Fallout TV show. What's his name? Oh, I can't remember that actor's name. That's Walter Goggins. Sounds like Walter Goggins. Are you Walter Goggins? Two dead crickets, but nobody deserves this. Okay. 
Exotic Material Extraction Manual. Using the extraction workstation, complete the following steps in listed order while the volunteer test subjects are present. Extract MIM from containment. Release it into the material extraction chamber. When multiplication process is complete, extract exotic material, process material, and collect from dispenser tray. Immediately transport remains to the morgue. Okay, so... You know, I used to be a reverend. Training for it anyways. Until I got locked up. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil, is pregnant with mischief, and gives birth to lies. Does that sound okay. like anybody you know? Okay, we're gonna... Aaron, I'm gonna step back for just a minute while I think this through and how I saw the fellows were Russian. I speak a little, but yeah. as you can tell, I ain't from there. Aaron, calm down. As you might have guessed. So okay, so it's very scary over here because there's monsters in there, and if I go over there, he won't shut up. I'm just I'm trying to have some thoughts, Aaron. Give me a minute. They Take prisoners, put them in a cell, release a mimic, let the mimic kill them so that there are more mimics, then they kill the extra mimics to get the materials out of them, and then they presumably keep one of the mimics alive so that they can just do that with more prisoners, which is essentially infinite exotic materials as long as you have a steady supply of prisoners. That's messed up. I'm going to let you out because that's... Plus, you said you'd let me into the armory and maybe I'll get a better gun. I'd like a shotgun. I keep finding shotgun shells. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decent friend. Yeah, okay. Come on. Now, please tell me how... The code? I you're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's eight seven one four. Thank you. All right. I do not need a glue cannon. God, dang it. Are you just... Are we buds now? <gasps> Ooh, lots of good stuff in here. Maybe there's a spare pistol. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but you freed him anyway. I'm curious if it was compassion, or was there some other motive? I mean, poor K. No I can act in ways that advance my directive. The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but you're human. You have a choice. Okay, that was totally worth it. I have two shotguns. <laughs> this place is the best. It was totally worth letting that like a guy out of prison. Okay, well, I don't. I don't really know what to do with you right now. <laughs> I I didn't really mean to throw that, but that's okay. Okay. Um, inventory. We should upgrade our shotgun. Press R to upgrade. All right. Firepower is good. I feel like am I mean for a shotgun, ammo capacity and reload speed are all really good. So yes. Yes. I got one more upgrade kit. Like, let's just let's go. I can now like go dismantle I get one Man, I really really do not get a whole lot of material out of stuff, huh? That's okay. That's fine. Uh I smack this. Um if I turn into something small, I should be able to... Hold on. 
Let's cancel that for now. I did just quick save, but I'm doing it again. <laughs> Let's turn into this thing. And then we can not fit. That thing is bigger than I thought. Son of a... Uh, what can I turn into that will fit that thing? <laughs> Hold on. We're in. The middle of a bunch of fire. This is a problem. But I, I could just like get a little singed. Yeah. Now we're in. Wait. 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> that, was, that was a waste. <laughs> I don't know how to get in this door. <gasps> oh, you, I probably have to, probably like one or the other. Like if I would have killed him, it probably would have opened this door. And I could have gotten all of that purple stuff. There might be another way in, though. There might not be. <laughs> it's, it's, it's possible that we screwed ourselves. Because we could have... I see. I could have gone... I could have just gone through there to get in the armory like there was another way in the armory so maybe the uh, right thing to do was actually to kill him or you know who knows maybe not my conscience is clear <laughs> more clear I have a lot of stuff that I need to dismantle, so we are, once again, backtracking. <laughs> this is the only Welcome. one that I know that's, like, nearby. Diagnosing. And I fixed the thingy, so I won't even get electrocuted. Isn't that great? Hey, buddy. You guys should make more noise. Not electrocuted. Transfer junk. Transfer this. Transfer this. Transfer this. There was a, a brief moment where I was wondering, like, why do why did they even give me like two shotguns in that one place? But there's a version of this game you can play if you're a sadist. No, if you're a masochist. I know what words are. Uh, where weapons deteriorate. Which sounds terrible. Can I make more? <laughs> I'm very, uh, pro. Oof. That's a lot of those. When instead, I could make this. Never mind. How many do I have? Four. What can we do with four neuromods? Probably a lot. We could get hacking too, which actually might be pretty good. I've seen a lot of stuff that I could hack. Making med kits better is good. I don't really care that I'm not even eating that much food. Increasing my psi pool is good because I can be a cup for longer. <laughs> um. Giving myself extra inventory space would be great. Being able to lift heavier objects. 
I'm actually kind of think maybe this though, because if I'm gonna use the shotgun, I can't upgrade the shotgun anymore. I have so many options, you guys. Making my weapons do more damage would be good. <laughs> Combat focus seems like it would be good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm feeling like a net decision paralysis. You know, let's go with hacking. F it. Just just pick, pick stuff, you know? Just pick something and, and go. All right. Hello. Now let's, see you again, Dr. Let's, you. let's get to guts, right? We've been, that was I, the only goal we had coming into this really was we got to get to the guts for reasons. I think because we got to like there's a lockdown maybe <laughs> and the guts will help us bypass the lockdown eradicator auto turrets transstar's last ditch defense against an outbreak flimsy but they're easy to fabricate best part is the built-in psychoscope tech they can discriminate between alien and human targets shouldn't be a problem for you since you're not an alien yet I did not want to hack you. That was the wrong thing. Why am I hacking this? This doesn't seem necessary. What am I doing? Oh. Ow. I really just wanted to pick you up. F to carry. Then F to drop. And then we deploy it. I don't know if this is good, but like... Oh, this is a travel. It doesn't... Okay. This may seem a little anticlimactic of an ending. Which is why I'm not going to end it. Oh, I tricked everyone, including myself. <laughs> I was, I really thought about ending it right there. Because I don't know what's going to happen on the other side of this door. I thought that might be a fun cliffhanger. But that also just felt like kind of crappy. Considering, again, this was like the only thing we had to do in this episode. We did it. We're in the Arboretum. Where are you going? You won't be able to use Alex's escape pod without... Wait, who are you? Please identify. Um. <laughs> Morgan, this is January. That oh, hi, January. Was an earlier defective model, or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. I'm gonna you need be to honest. Keys and destroy Talos one before I don't trust it's too late. anybody. I don't trust January. I don't trust that video of me. My memories are toasted. Microgravity detected. Oh. We're in the guts. Hello. Give me your stuff. Hey. You. Run the entire length of the station. Got Mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Hey, you want to help Power, me out, buddy? Water, air. But I forgot how to move. Use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm. Stu uh, there's. You can't see it because my head's in the way, but there is actually, like, instructions on how to move. Hello. I appreciate spare parts. Ow, I'm stuck. Ow, help me. Ow, 
Ow. We're fine. It, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay. We're zooming now. What do you suppose that is? Stuff, man. Hold on, I gotta get it. In case. Not really in case. So that I can uh, turn it into neural mods. Are there other things I could build? Sure. Are there other things I will build? No. Probably not. Let's just let's just do a quick just a quick look around. We gotta make sure that we didn't miss any obvious stuff. One of the worst parts about recording yourself playing games uh, is watching you do it again later and noticing all of the obvious stuff that you just missed. Uh, this is the magnetosphere and the cargo tunnel. Great. Um. What are we even? What? I don't. I don't know what just happened. What? What just happened? I was scanning a thing, and then. It exploded? <laughs> what is this? Just goop? Huh. Hello, what are you? Complete. You're a cystoid nest. God. I hate that. Okay. Cystoid nest. The outer layer of each cystoid nest appears to be made of an exceptionally thin layer of the same material that makes up most Typhon. Indeed, the nest appears to be just as fragile as the cystoids themselves, making it less of a protective structure and more like a living mine. It's possible that the weaver uses these to mark and even defend its territory from any kind of intruder. Initial scans reveal they are constantly leaking lethal levels of radiation. Steer clear unless you want radiation sickness or a swarm of cystoids after you. I don't know what a cystoid is, but I don't think I want that. Okay, so that's a cystoid nest. And that's a cystoid nest. How do I avoid the cystoid nests? Can I shoot them? It's like a lot of cystoid nests. Those are cystoids, huh? Did it, did it explode? I'm gonna guess the... The thingy that I was trying to scan... That, um... I'm guessing these are cystoids? More specimens required. Why can't I scan you? You are cystoids. Okay. I'm I'm just trying to <laughs> Trying to get some scans here. You guys are not what the frick what even are you? <laughs> okay, hold on. We could just <laughs> Cystoid. It's fortunate the weaver produces so many of these because keeping cystoids alive for long outside of those nests has proven to be exceptionally difficult. Despite the lack of any visible sensory organs, each cystoid seems capable of detecting us through unknown means, detonating on proximity. If we can figure out what it uses to see, we may be able to find a way to blind it long enough to get a closer look. No weaknesses. No immunity. Provides kinetic blast one. Okay, so we haven't learned anything new from scanning these guys. Great. Fantastic. I'm 
Should I just like... <laughs> Go fast? Hold on. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't. I just need to finish scanning one effing cystoid. Come on. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So maybe we just like go over here and then and then maybe there's a cat above me <laughs> anybody anybody ever run into that where sometimes there's just like a cat above you <laughs> when you're trying to avoid a bunch of cystoids hi maui hello <laughs> he's maui has a new trick <laughs> it's not so much trick as uh routine which is Get up on my desk, lay down between my keyboard and my monitor, and get and get belly rubs. So he also really loves. I have a a cable. He uses it's just no, it's just cat. N no thoughts, just cat. I have a USB cable. Oh, he's he's. He's pushing buttons. <laughs> Maui. Let's see if we can get some of these burrs on, on the microphone. Hi, buddy. Hi, my good boy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> in light of a cat who is just desperate for attention <laughs> and the fact that we've made it through, I think, mostly through this hallway and are almost at the Arbor Ar Arboretum? Arboretum? I don't remember, I don't remember how it's pronounced. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm going to call this an episode. <laughs> Ooh, what a good kitty. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Prey. If you like my cat, that's one thumbs up. If you did not like my cat, that's one thumbs up and a subscribe. And how dare you not like my cat? He is a perfect angel. And I love him so much. I also love this game. I feel like we've really started to put some more pieces together. They're starting to paint a clear picture of what the Typhon are and what they were doing on this station and none of it seems good. Uh, I, I don't think there's any clarity on who is who. I know January says that it's us and this was all part of our contingency plans but my memory is full of holes and I don't think I can trust anyone. But now we have a shotgun. So I think it's time to stop being afraid and keep exploring. So next week, we'll actually get into the Arboretum. I am at least 74% sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>